Hello, my friends. This is Sandra Tarno with Sandra Tarno Art. I wanted to um, show you how I wire my frames for hanging. Uh, this picture here is an um, 11 by 14 frame that I uh, just painted the uh, doodling and mindful art piece a couple of days ago. And what I do is I um, attach wire to make it easy for hanging. So this is an easy method you could do. I buy my D-rings, which come with the screws, from Amazon. I'll put the link in the uh, description below. <clears throat> you need a wood frame. That is all I purchase, because if I don't use the D-rings, then I use the sawtooth. So this is the top of the frame. Of course, this would be the bottom then. And what I do here is I put uh, felt pads, double-sided uh, felt pads on the corners to keep it from being right up against the wall to let it breathe. So this is glass underneath with the mat, with the artwork, the backboard, and then the back of the frame. So when the, what, what I wanted to do is show you how to string um, the wire. So the wire that I use is a number five. It's a maximum picture weight of 43 pounds. Um, <clears throat> this is not 43 pounds, so I could go bigger with this, but I just do this for stability. So what you want to do is pick up your D-ring. Um, let me back up a little bit. So how did I figure out how to where to screw in the D rings? I measure my frame and I go a third of the way down and screw in my D rings. I use an electric uh, screwdriver and it works well. These adjust, move around. There is a bumpy and a smooth side. Always put the smooth side to the outside. I don't know why I just do it looks better um, so you're going to take your wire and you're going to bring it in and I take about this much and you're going to fold it over go up underneath and pull it tight then I'm going to bring it back through the d-ring and bring it up so now I've got two loops What you want to do is bring it back over. And pull it tight. Actually, this needs to be tightened. It's really loose. So here I have a double loop. And it's made it very snug. So then you want to bring it over. Bring it around. And loop it up, pull it snug, and do that three times around your wire. Pull it snug, and number three. Pull it snug. A lot of people use the whole thing. You don't need to. Um, three with your double loop is sufficient. Then you want to use some wire cutters. Always cut from the bottom. Cut the long piece off. some reason that's being stubborn so I cut that off and then I just take my little clamper tools and squeeze this together mainly to keep from scratching yourself 
on the end of the wire. But it also gives it some stability. So just kind of pinch it together. Okay, so there you go. There's your double knot, your triple wrap around. And then you want to bring this up just a little bit and not all the way to the top. Um, you want some slack. You don't want it tight, but you want some slack. And then I usually go out here about three inches from the D-ring, and I go ahead and snip this off. Obviously, my snippers are not working very good today. I have another pair, and I should have grabbed them. Okay, there we go. So, you're going to come in here. Again, you want it about right here. So what I normally do is bend it over and crimp it so I know where that is. You want to bring it under. You're going to go back through. to get your double loop. Pull it tight. Bring it over. Pull it tight. Bring it over again. Pull it tight. This will be the third one. So there you go. So you got your double loop and your three knots. You want to cut this off. Okay, I had to go get my trusty wire cutters. They were so big, I thought I could do it with the little ones, but I couldn't. So you get as close as you can, cut it off, and then this little end here, like I said, I just like to squeeze that together. Just make sure nobody gets poked. And it also gives it stability. Okay. So that is all there is to it. I need to tighten this one down. Somehow or other it got loose. It shouldn't wiggle. This one does not wiggle. Um, and then you could put one nail to hang it. Or you could put two. I just put one. And then you have your felt pads to keep it. Um, from touching against the wall. So here's the piece framed, ready to go. And that's all there is to it. I thank you so much. If you like this video, please um, consider subscribing, giving it a thumbs up. I'm trying to post a video uh, two to three times a week with some shorts in there as well. If you haven't checked out my shorts, please do. I've got some uh, snippets from using cold wax to framing, and uh, let me know in the comments if there's any questions you might have, and I would be happy to answer them. Thank you so much, and have a great day. Bye now.